everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I want to showcase some of the capabilities of the NVIDIA RTX 3070 card. Uh, there's a YouTuber, Asian Half Squat, that was showcasing his 3090. Uh, and this video is going to be comparable to that. Uh, some differences that are worth noting. I'm in vanilla Minecraft right now, pure vanilla Minecraft. Uh, but I am recording at 1080p and he was recording at 1440p. So that'll make a big difference. Uh, really and I have the uh, Intel i9 10900F processor and then of course I have the GeForce RTX 3070 all right so uh, I'm also using the MSI Afterburner software he was using Shadow Play to get his FPS uh, Afterburner does have a little bit of a performance hit uh, but not too bad but it allows me to monitor GPU and CPU usage so you can see in vanilla Minecraft uh, here in this world here, I'm getting around 400 frames a second or so, and I'm using 30%, 40% basically GPU and 7% CPU, all right, uh, for just vanilla Minecraft. So we can look around the world a little bit and get an idea of the performance uh, just in a standard, pretty much vanilla world in a village on an ocean type deal. So I'm getting around 400 now. Uh, it'll peak at 500 sometimes, but it's pretty darn good performance, guys. And, of course, I'm at, um, let me show you my options here. I'm at 14 chunks and everything else, V-Sync off, brightness 50, everything else is full quality. All right, so th there's all the settings there. Uh, so this is the performance that I'm getting with that. So pretty happy with that. I'm at 500 now once I move away from the village. Okay guys, so this test shows that I am using uh, the Sodium mod now, uh, which is a fabric performance mod. And so here's my settings for that. Uh, I have the chunk render OpenGL2, and then I'm at 14 chunks, and then I have everything else at the high performance settings. Okay, so I'm basically at the same location in another world. So I'm getting 600-ish frames a second there. Uh, there's 1300, depends on what you're looking at, uh, but very comparable performance overall. And then if I look at the ground, then I'm getting over 2000. So 2500, 2600 frames a second doing that. Look at the sky completely and I'm still in there, 2,600 frames a second, basically. All right, and again, do you need 2,500 frames a second? No, but it's super nice to have. So that's basically the performance on that. Of course, it's gonna vary depending on what you're rendering and all that kind of stuff, but pretty happy overall, and it is a nice performance boost of three, 400 frames a second uh, with using sodium. So here's the test using Sonic Ether's uh, PTGI ray tracing shaders. Uh, and I'm looking at a jungle. I wanted to get a jungle performance, but you can see there's the options the same as what I had before with my video settings set at 1400 or 14 chunks. And then there's the PTGI E12 shader. So uh, getting over 100 frames a second doing that at a village, guys, that's pretty, pretty awesome performance overall and this is like one of the most intensive shaders that you can run you can see my gpu is maxed out pretty much and but my cpu staying solid at 12 10 somewhere around there but my uh, gpu is at 98 so it's it's using the gpu quite a bit but again rendering a jungle is a pretty intense intensive thing to do okay so just as asian half squat did in his video i'm going to go ahead and up my uh, render distance all the way to 64 chunks and this should be the most intensive test for minecraft uh, with this top end shader and the maximum render distance and look guys i'm getting 80 frames a second uh, it's not a problem at a jungle again jungles are pretty intensive rendering I wanted to test with that uh, just to demonstrate that looking at the jungle uh, at 64 render distance this world hasn't been preloaded or anything like that so it's loading chunks still I'm getting 60s 70s 80s around there now there you saw a lag spike right there so obviously there were some chunks in the distance that were loading or something uh, but loading a jungle is pretty intense so super happy with that performance guys
Okay, so for the final test, we're going, I'm in a, a super flat void world here. Uh, this is just a complete void world that you use with the uh, super flat presets. And my chunk distance is set to two. So this is kind of the max performance test. Two chunks, everything else basically the same. And so I'm getting over 3000 frames a second. Uh, 3200 around there look at the sky getting 3300 uh, so very comparable in performance overall again at 1080p is worth mentioning based on 1440p uh, but his card uh, Asian half squats card is the uh, 3090 which is two levels above that and like about four hundred dollars more expensive or something like that uh, so uh, I'm pretty happy with the rtx 3070 guys that is a sweet spot uh, that if you can find one they're kind of hard to find right now is a good performance balance you can see my gpu is using about 60 i'm not really sure why uh, i guess because i'm recording with shadow play so that's going to make some difference as well uh, but cpu is staying very low and i'm in the 3200 3300 range as far as performance goes anyway that's going to be it for this video guys uh these are just my initial tests and uh thanks to uh the youtuber asian half squad i'll leave a link to his video in the description so you can watch that too but the rtx 3070 is a very very cool card and perform it for minecraft uh and along with this i9 i'm seeming to get very very good frame rates so i hope you enjoyed it leave a like comment subscribe this is scott omato thanks so much for watching guys we'll see you in the next one have a great day bye bye